Do you like math? If I get an A on a test, I like math. Do you like to play games? Alright, I'm not really liking the direction of these questions. Well, if you like math and playing games, then Pascal's Triangle is for you. Oh, great. Is this going to be on a test? Just stay with me. It's not as bad as you think. Yippee! Pascal's Triangle is a triangle formed by adding the numbers from the previous row in order to find the numbers of the next row. So, 1 plus 5 is 6, 5 plus 10 is 15, 10 plus 10 is 20, 10 plus 5 is 15, and it just keeps going on and on and on, like a fun game. Are you kidding me? How is doing that fun? Well, some people find it fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Using Pascal's Triangle, you can actually find solutions to combinations without using a math formula. Whoa, wait a minute. You said without using a math formula? That's right. Not so bad now, is it? Mmm, we'll see. The first number will tell you the row that the solution can be found, and then the second number will tell you the number in the row where the solution is. So starting from the top, the first row is zero, and then going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then starting from the number to the left, we go over one, two. So the solution for the combination of eight, two is 28. Okay, well, that didn't seem too bad. And the nice thing is, you can use the same triangle to solve other problems as well. Sweet! Let's solve for a second solution. Combination four, three. So we'll go down four rows, and over three numbers. So the solution is four. Just remember, when using Pascal's triangle to solve for combinations, the one at the top of the triangle is row zero, not row one. And solving combinations with Pascal's triangle will be on a quiz. Oh man!